Have you ever noticed that a lot of famous musicians who play jazz masters often take out their jazz master bridge pickup and replace it with something else? If you think off the top of your head of people you know and like who play jazz masters, I bet at least one of them, if not more, has changed out their jazz master bridge pickup for a P90, for a wide range humbucker, for a regular humbucker or PAF, or for something completely different altogether. Also, if you think of a lot of new jazz masters anyway, Anything that's made in Japan will typically basically have a Stratocaster pickup under a Jazzmaster cover in it. And the newer Squire stuff, they have kind of Jazzmaster style pickups, but they're not quite as thin as a Jazzmaster coil would be. They're taller and maybe not quite as wide. So you're not really getting a proper Jazzmaster pickup on those either. If you think of the really popular Jazzmaster models at the moment, like the J Mascus model, that comes with a P90 in the bridge. If you think of modern Mexican jazz masters, a lot of those will come with the V-Mod pickups, which are again basically a Stratocaster bridge pickup. Even if you think of some of the more higher end American made jazz masters that you get now, a lot of those are going to have your pure vintage 65 or pure vintage 66 pickup in it, which whilst technically a jazz master pickup, the wire isn't wound all the way to the edge of the bobbin. So it's not really a traditional jazz master pickup, at least not what I think of as a traditional jazz master pickup design. If this is the kind of thing you care about, I suggest you pause the video here and read over the information on this slide and the next one about the pickups Fender is currently offering across its Jazzmaster range. However, the take home message is that, with the possible exception of the Vintera 60s pickups, Fender isn't currently offering any Jazzmaster models with authentic traditional Jazzmaster pickups. However, when you see people modding their Jazzmasters, more often than not, it's the bridge pickup that goes and gets replaced with something else, either something hotter, louder, fatter, more aggressive, higher output, less high end. But why does the Jazzmaster bridge pickup have such a bad reputation? Or perhaps I should say, why is it so unpopular? I tried four different bridge pickups in my Jazzmaster before I actually tried a proper, authentic, vintage wind Jazzmaster bridge pickup in there. The first ones in there were the stock Squire Classic Vibe pickups. And they are similar to a Jazzmaster design, but the bobbins are taller and they have a higher DC resistance than what you'd expect to find on a normal Jazzmaster pickup. And they have a slightly different sound as a result. The next pickups I tried were really cool. They were uh, modern hot pickups by Northern Pickups. And they sound really cool. They have such great clarity and note definition. They have a really, really cool sound, but they are more of that kind of Strat style pickup under a Jazzmaster pickup cover. They have much taller bobbins and they're not wound anywhere near to the edge of the bobbin like a Jazzmaster pickup would be. I've also tried the Fender Pure Vintage 65 and it's just a bit thin sounding. It's very bright sounding. Um, and again, I wouldn't really say it's a proper traditional Jazzmaster pickup. I just got these pickups recently. I've got a full demo on the way, but I got so carried away when I was playing the bridge pickup that I have ended up with half an hour of footage just of the bridge pickup. I filmed so much footage of this pickup because I really like how it sounds. It sounds really, really cool. And actually, I wonder if a lot of the people who swap out their Jazzmaster bridge pickups to something higher output, something hotter, something fatter, just haven't taken the time to get to know their Jazzmaster bridge pickup or the pickup they have isn't actually a proper Jazzmaster pickup in the first place. Jazzmaster pickups are really cool, they're really interesting because the uh, coil is so wide. A normal Strat pickup, the coil might be about this wide, um, but on a Jazzmaster pickup, the coil is the whole width of the pickup. So that means the pickup isn't just picking up a really uh, thin and specific narrow magnetic field of vibration above the string, it's picking up a really wide area. So this means you get a lot more uh, bass response, you get an extended low end, they are very bright. Uh, Jazz Masters use one meg pots, so you're letting a lot more high end through than what you would do on a Tele or on a Strat. The mid frequencies they have are really, really nice. It's not too fat in the low mids. It's not too scooped in the middle. It's just a really spanky, sizzly, bright, aggressive sound. And with the JCM800 sound in particular, I just love how punchy, how aggressive, how um, immediate the attack on the notes is. You'll see in a lot of these clips I'm going to play that I'm playing really kind of spanky, uh, staccato, uh, kind of choppy rhythmic stuff because the attack of the Jazzmaster pickup is just so immediate and the hardware adds to that as well with the bridge style it has and the tremolo it has. 
and the break angle of the strings over the neck, the bolt on neck, the woods that are used to make the Jazzmaster, all of this adds up to a really kind of punchy sound, but not in a way that's harsh or unpleasant, but in a really cool, really kind of, I don't know, I think it's just a great rock sound. It's not your mid heavy PAF Les Paul SG sound. It's not like a P90, but I think I have a really um, solid place as a part of kind of rock guitar sound. Um, for what I do, kind of like a punk, post-hardcore, post-punk um, kind of thing, it really, really works well. It's just a really punchy, direct, in-your-face, uh, kind of aggress aggressive sound with a lot of um, a lot of punch to it. So have a listen to these clips and see what you think. I really don't get why people think the Jazzmaster bridge pickup sucks. I don't know why so many people change it out on their guitar to something else. I think it's got a really cool sound and if you want I guess a throaty mid-range heavy rock sound then I guess that's why you're going to change out your Jazzmaster bridge pickup to a PAF or to a wide range humbucker or something but if you have a Jazzmaster um, you should at least try to get to know your Jazzmaster bridge pickup before assuming that it's going to be thin, uh, super scooped, super bright and unusable because it's a really really cool sound and it's something slightly different as well. So yeah, what do you think? Do you use a Jazzmaster pickup in your Jazzmaster? Do you switch it out for something different? Do you think the sounds I'm getting are really good kind of rock modern alternative sounds or do you think that I'm just slightly deluded? I'd be really interested to know your thoughts about uh, and your experiences with the Jazzmaster pickup. And if you tried a Jazzmaster pickup and you didn't like it, could it possibly be that it was a P90 uh, or a Strat style pickup or a V mod or something like that in your guitar that you didn't actually try a proper vintage Jazzmaster pickup because it's a really unique and different sound. So I'd be very interested in hearing your thoughts on that and uh, I hope you enjoy these clips. Thank you. 